Hi, my name is Valerie and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my experience with the gastric balloon. I had the gastric balloon placed December 18th of 2015. Today is January 3rd, 2016, so it has been 21 days since I placed in. I had no problems like a lot of people complain with um, vomiting um, every half an hour, every one hour. The day that I had it placed, I went to the hotel. I stayed at a hotel because I did, I did not have it done in my town because they didn't, don't have a doctor to do it. So, and then I was pretty miserable that day, but I threw up twice. That is because it's a completely new thing in your stomach. So naturally, your stomach will try to, you know, vomit it out, you know, spit it out, and that's by throwing up. So I threw up twice, which I think it's pretty good. The, my, the doctor that I chose, and I've done a lot of research before I chose him, it is, in my opinion, the best there is so in the market and I love him I love how attention he is how he cares about his patient and want to make sure they are doing fine he is the only doctor that sends a nurse to your hotel room to your home to um, give you medicine so you can tolerate the balloon easier none of the other doctors do that they will just prescribe you medicine and you take the medicine as needed my doctor also prescribed me medicine and but i needed i think i have i have all the medicines that i have maybe one or two that i took three or four uh pills of those medicine because the nurse comes to your house or the nurse comes to your hotel room and takes care of you and give you medicine in your iv that alone is priceless. It was priceless to me, and he he was the only one at that time that did that. Then second day was better. Third day was <laughs> a lot better. I I have no complaints. Some days I think to myself, do I really have a balloon inside me? And then I realize I do when I eat just a little bit, and I'm already full. I used to eat a lot, and that's why I decided to put the balloon in. I was also approved for the bariatric surgery last year, and I I scheduled and I canceled three times because I wasn't mentally ready to do so, and my husband wasn't also, he wasn't very um, happy about that I was going to cut my stomach in half. So this is another one other option that I chose um, besides the bariatric surgery. So I'm going to tell you now the diet that I I had to follow uh, right after I had the balloon inserted. So I had to take this. Um, this was my measuring cup. And I had to have water every 30 minutes. This amount of water every 30 minutes. And this amount of liquid soup with a lot of protein in it and also because I was part of the bariatric surgery I had I had access to all the bariatric food that they they advise you to buy before the surgery itself because it's smart to try out the food before your surgery so you know which one you like instead of having the surgery and then going after you know, choose, you know, I don't like this, what are you going to do? Because you're going to be miserable. So I prepare myself before. So I brought the, the liquid uh, chicken broth from, I think it was on Shuro Bediatric Choice. Uh, one of those two, because I buy it from those two websites. And I also brought the um, strawberry shake that I love, strawberry, uh, the protein strawberry shake. So I would have 50 ml of water and then breakfast. I would have 100 ml of the protein shake, but one ml 30 minutes and then 30 minutes later another one. That to keep me, you know, strong because I didn't want to feel weak. So I made sure I had protein in it. I see people that only have water and ice popsicles that doesn't give you any protein, doesn't give you any strength. So you need to make sure you choose 
the right food to eat right after your procedure, either if, if, if it's bariatric, the bariatric surgery choice or if it's the gastric balloon like I did. You have to make sure your, well take, your body is well taken care of. So this is miserable, I know, but you cannot have anything more than this. And you don't feel hunger. I was not hungry. I was not hungry at all. But because I'm fat and I like to eat, my eyes would want food. Oh, and then people would eat in front of me and then I decided I told my mother and my husband do not eat near me. There was one day at the hotel that my mother made coffee and there was the smell of coffee everywhere. I begged her, I said, please don't do that again because I want it. Do I need it? No. Um, am I hungry? No, but I'm fat and I'm not fat because I wasn't eat I was eating apple all the time. I fat because I like to eat food and good food and good food is bad for you. So anyways, after the third day, I was a lot better and and I start, so I was in the liquid diet for 10 days. Liquid diet, I could have uh, the protein shake, I could have the water, I could have jello, um, I could have soup, liquidified soup. So I would ask at the hotel, they were very, very nice to me, and they would make fresh soup and liquidify that for me to be very watery. And because there was only on one, one size of soup, you know, my mother would have the rest. and. And I would have just that amount for me. Now I'm already eating, uh, you know, uh, harder food, but I have to bite. They teach you to bite, to chew a lot before you swallow it. And the, what I realize is that I don't need all that food that I was eating before. I just don't. None of us do. You know, I was eating until I felt like I was going to pop out, and that that's how I gain all this weight so the balloon teaches you that you do not need the many food that much food that you were eating before it doesn't and I hope that after I remove the balloon I keep thinking the same way what I also keep thinking is that maybe if I don't lose enough weight this time that I'm happy with I don't want to be skinny okay I've never been very skinny but I want to be less fat so I might put another balloon after that um, and try to see what I can do. I'm, I hope I can lose 50 pounds to be under the 100 pound uh, mark. So if I'm under the, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm hoping to lose 50 pounds to be under the 200 pounds mark. I have lost in the 21 days, I have lost 16 pounds. Yay, I am amazed, I'm happy, very happy with that. And I'm not doing any exercise yet because I can only do exercise after 30 days after the balloon is in place. So that way it doesn't move, it doesn't you know, get out of its place, that would hurt very much. But also the doctor um, taught me and my husband on how to put the balloon back in place. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Then, um, Something also that it was very bothersome, it was to sleep on the left side all the time. Because the stomach is on the left side, so the balloon is on the left side. And they told me to only sleep on the left side. That way it would help the balloon, you know, stay in place right after you put it in. Now it's fine, but I still have it in my mind, oh no, so when I move to the right, I go right back to the left side. I am very happy with it. Um, a lot of people, I heard that people burp uh, the balloon, the, the plastic, they burp all the time. I do not have the problem. Um, I'm very well medicated. I take um, Nexium and I take that twice a day. I used to take once a day, but now I take twice a day. It does because sometimes it feels like you burp, but it's because the stomach now is so little that the food is right there. Um, you know, <laughs> right almost here. So it feels almost there. And plus you have to make right choices of your food. What I remember that used to give me a lot of heart heartburns was bread, anything that had yeast in it, bread, cookies, um, fried stuff, tomato sauce. I'm not eating none of that. I used to have a lot of headache also headaches almost every single day. I have to tell you, since I had this balloon placed, no headaches at all.
Mm, wonder why? Because I'm eating better and I'm eating less. So that eating a lot, it was not only doing bad for my knees and my joints, but also to my whole body. I'm very happy if I had to do it again, I would do it in a, you know, without a question. I did, as I said, I've done a lot of research and I've seen a lot of people complaining that they, they hate it, they liked it, but I think it had a, it has a lot, of, lot to do with the doctor that you choose and making sure that they do care about you, that they give you the care that you need so you're not so miserable. It's not about price, it's you. So a lot of people choose the less expensive procedure, the less expensive doctor, the less expensive balloons because there is not only one balloon out there and um, one balloon brand but you know it's your body you don't want to be cheap about it again very happy lost 16 pounds I hope I lose 50 so we have 34 more to go and I hope as soon as I start exercising I will get to that mark if you have any questions please give me a message and I'll be happy to answer anything that I have I did not talk about it today thank you Bye.